Sie was packen. Tarabellum. Our community, welcome back here at Tribune, where we all together participate in finding out the best battle board game in the world. Maybe? Yeah. I, I think it is a fine game and uh, with so many strategies inside. Uh, the game itself is named Tribune, no pun intended. And the game of today is called Sightseeing. And why? You will soon find out. So let's begin. Uh, by the way, when you're new to this channel, this is Tribun, really a board-bound battle game. It simulates uh, the Battle of Cannae, uh, where the Roman Empire was fighting, I don't know, against maybe some of them under themselves having a little beef. Uh, and, uh, well, you have an army consisting of these single pieces you can stack up and the larger the stacks grow the shape and uh, the life point the attack points and attackment movement patterns change you can see these indicated by the circles when they are white this means it is blocked by an allied unit this is an archer it shoots circle and uh, yeah no bigger units on the board so far and it um, may remind you of chess and you are completely right this is a little like chess it has some some same tactics inside but a lot of new ones because in this game you can split your units merge your units and so everything is fluid okay yeah so um and by the way uh, the uh, the Battle of Cannae with the Battle of Rome and Carthage. I think that's how you pronounce it. Ah, uh, okay. Um, Carthago in German. Yes, and um, I think it would it could have been the Romans uh, that were um, on the losing end or on the receiving end, but um, yeah, it's about the technical stuff. You no, know, it was a great, <laughs> uh, great battle. So that's why, you know. Anyhow, <laughs> so uh, point <laughs> is, the Romans, I don't care. Uh, point is, uh, this game is about uh, strategy, and uh, we will see uh, this strategy unfold. Um, and you created a few arches, and I have like a nice setup. I'm gonna jump the next uh, few moves so that we can see what setups we can come up with. Yeah, I really like the structure of having these uh, yeah, symmetries to bring the forces together a little faster. And you did something similar here. In the beginning, it is usually a good point to bring all the smaller pieces into bigger pieces so they can engage into the battle. Yeah, and so I, I ha have created like this little clump. I don't <laughs> think this is great uh, for a couple of reasons. Uh, I like the approach though. Um, the problem here is that I don't really have breathing room. So perhaps a future move could be moving here so that we have a little more room here. So, yeah. Um, yeah, it can become cozy very fast. I mean... At the moment it is clogged, but with some swift movements you can, yeah, uh, bring the power out. Uh, my English today is very weak, oh my goodness. You can unfold. <laughs> unfold, the yeah. See that? Yeah. That's the word I was searching for here. Yeah. Anyhow, um, so you attacked a little bit in the center and I just uh, combined again. Uh, with my ultimate goal of eliminating all these pesky uh, uh, slaves in front. Now, they are useful, but, uh, you know, you can use them better than having them stand around. <laughs> yeah. To serve the dishes, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't think that is uh, 
skill that will be needed in this kind of situation. Right now, but after I smashed your army, maybe. Oh uh, yeah, we'll see about that. <laughs> and it's the sad great. part is, the slaves on your side will become my slaves afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, no. um, I'm aiming uh, into your position now. Yeah. Uh, with my ultimate goal being uh, to to threaten you. Now and it's not that bad. Yeah, interrupting here, the symmetry here cannot combine right away, so you're hinder me. Yeah, this is the main point. Um, you might think I could take this and uh, win material, uh, but this is not really the case. This would just be a trade, uh, which I would not be happy with. Uh, I really like this unit and trading it for these two would be a very poor decision on my part. Yeah. And you wouldn't even uh, disturb. I I would unfold in a little different way and would be solid again. So I defend it here. Uh, yeah. And I save the center. Yeah. Taking control of some of these dark fields. And I was still stressed by this Aquis pointing here. So, what did I do? Oh. <laughs> Pushed one. By the way, if sometimes these images uh, switch and switch back again, uh, it's always that the system repairs the board, and then sometimes it can occur that uh, all these images for a short time switch. Okay. Um, and another Aquis. This is so unnerving. Yeah, so the idea of this could be, for example, to, um, let's say, go here. Now, yeah, this is uh, straightforward. Um, you're attacking and you're attacking a, let's, let's call it the vital point. You can take Impero and uh, th that would really suck to play. Um, yeah. So, uh, basically, uh, you cannot run away uh, because uh, this is attacked and if you try to take me back, well, I still command your own unit. Um, if you don't know this rule, uh, maybe look into the uh, board game rules. Yeah. Find here. Um, yeah, they're here on the table and they are down in the description if you like. You can see all the necessary files to play Tribune on your own or maybe join us on the tabletop simulator and then we have playbacks of the game and can show them on the, the channel and taking Impero is one of the major parts in this game I mean in chess you take or you don't but here you can decide to temporarily gain control over the enemy unit and yeah, abuse the abilities of this unit, and this is very, very threatening in many cases. Which yeah. is the reason you immediately jumped into yeah. defense. Defending this one, because I saw this discovered attack. But now I, I saw something that was not defended. Yeah. So I, uh, I engaged. Uh -huh. Uh, it's interesting how you can, uh, how there's no convenient way to defend yourself. Uh, so th these black hexagons are very poorly uh, defended against yeah. my threats. So you had to do something Aha! like that. Sophisticated defense. <laughs> no, this is always a distress because you have to watch out for this spell. So this dude already has a job to do. Uh, he cannot freely travel around the board and creating threats on his own. No. And, well, my move has a few ideas. Um, first one being I'm attacking this. Second one being I may uh, contemplate to do something along the lines of this, which um, would... Uh, for one, uh, free me up, so I can do more things. Uh, and the uh, second thing is that I'm attacking. 
down the center, and I think that could be quite nice. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> so a lot of possibilities. I'm again stepping ahead boldly, telling you, hey, dude. Yeah, no, and the next shred from the... This is so impolite. Well, I'm I'm trying to visit you, you know. I'm knocking. Well, I'm not even knocking on your door. I'm just You're sending you a friendly message, and you just curl up. Yeah, but the message is, hey, I won't you... knock. I will kick it out from the hinges. Look, look at the people wielding weapons in your position, and then look at my horses. Hmm. Friendly so little horses. Is a horse a weapon? No. And that's why I am uh. not the aggressor. Anyhow, I'm pointing uh, down towards your uh, units, and you try to run away. But I'm I'm not gonna let you slip from my grasp here. I'm gonna attack you anyhow. This is in a ghost army. See your ghost horses here. <laughs> I, I don't want to know how the riders look like. <laughs> Don't worry. They're in the ring the ring demons from the Lord of the Rings. <laughs> mm. Perhaps no. I'm just the hobbit defending myself. Or, or at least you trying to. We don't imply um uh, yeah. We don't have uh ghosts as our staff. <laughs> These are independent horses. Mm -hmm. A horse yeah. swarm. Okay, come come on. You should uh, yeah, and gibberish. Anyhow, I'm now sacrificing. Why yeah. am I sacrificing? Well, uh, this uh, the, uh, this archer had the crucial role of defending this hexagon. Yeah. With yeah. him now gone, I could then go here. And you Which may is... say, hey, it is defended, but no, not sufficiently. Whoops. Oh. Uh, yeah. If I take two, then this spearsman will bring me down. So it is virtually not defended at all. And I have to deal with the situation and I say, hand me a bow, pal. I'm becoming an archer myself and going for the hunt. Now, um, we, we've uh, talked a little bit uh, about the situation. We think, uh, like in hindsight, I should have probably taken. Um, mm -hmm. But this was just uh, too nice of a situation. Just imagine a world without him. Like, I was planning on doing something like this. Or, like yeah. this. Yeah. Perfect world, right? Um, you can't run away. And uh, you're attacked. And that yeah, and, and then the then the uh, status down here is playing a crucial role in the attack. He he defends against the backwards merging field. And the running away. So yeah, yeah and the running away here and here. Yeah. So Very um, important. This is the reason I did that. But uh, obviously, uh, we don't have a situation without him. Mm -hmm. so, but anyhow, it was not that bad. I just relinquished yeah. my, um, well, my grasp on this spearsman. Uh, oh. Yeah. You know. Yeah, and now you yeah. sent me out to discover the world. And yeah. I did, man, I did. I, From now on, I'm just traveling the whole board constantly attacked and what you do you reshape your army a little and you bring every piece into the attack all the more become active and active and active and and they hunt me mercilessly around until that point when stop please you may see hey this egg was hung the complete sequence of moves yes you are right and finally at the point where you yeah now you 
Now you kill him. No, I have not killed him. I, yeah, okay. Maimed him. I downgraded him. <laughs> downgraded! <laughs> Anyhow, um, without getting into the gruesome details of the uh, <laughs> unfolding sequence of events, <laughs> let's uh, focus on the game at hand. Uh. So, we have uh, the, let's, uh, let's call him the prey. Um, and he's hey. oh, he's in his little shelter here. Uh, and our purpose uh, to get him out of there and uh, bake him a cookie, and uh, ultimately uh, hand it over to him. So um, the f f he is very uh, uh, very direct in uh, keeping the cookie away. But we have a few means of um, ultimately um, getting what we want. So the first thing is we want to uh, pose his secretary a few questions. So um, basically, we don't want them to roam around, uh, as this would uh, cause a few problems. And uh, sure enough, it kind of works. So, well, Woo! I got one. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I, in terms of material, I'm almost equal, but yeah. situation or positional play, uh, it's a disaster. And, um, yeah, I begin uh, prying the uh, position apart. And this dude back! It, it, you see his tribune standing there, bored, yeah, reading some magazines, just sending out his troops. Do the dirty work. Bring me a set on a silver plate. Okay. So you jump to attack me mm. standing here, but uh, yeah, this and, and discover it attack and the discover it attack here. I try to be a little cocky, but well, you said no. That's what you get for being cocky. Yeah. You attack me. I have to run. Now you can bring one of the aggressors to safety with an, another attacking move. Uh, yeah, I know the ballista is made. You, you just untangled the whole situation. And so now we've uh, got him right where we want him to be. So uh, the, <laughs> the, the receiver is in the center of the board, quite literally. Uh, we have a center hexagon and he's literally standing on top of it. And so now it's a matter of getting him uh, more toward our base camp. So this um, preferably, but we've got to make sure that we can't be attacked. So right now, this one could attack us from either these uh, for hexagons. But all are yeah. defended. Man. This is like walking on a catwalk, but an awful one. Yeah, and so I just posed another threat. Mm. So you can uh, move a couple of ways. You could go there. Um, you could perhaps also go here. Yeah, these and are the only two fear movement. Yeah. Or I could combine up to an Equus, that would be even worse. Probably. Uh. And, um, yeah, and you, you chose to end it right <laughs> I now. opted for uh. a quick way out. <laughs> <laughs> Emergency exit. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter, you know. The yeah, game he was, was lost trying to almost on time. So I yeah. had 40 seconds, he had two minutes, and he just tried to move as fast as he could to uh, make me uh, lose on time, but uh, that did not work out for him the way he wanted it to be. Am I right? Yep. <laughs> yeah. No, it was a perfect hunt. I mean, this I... is a very instructional game. Uh, what you did here was was really, really, really good. I mean, re remembering how you got 
out of this position I created for you, I thought I had some maybe counter gaming, but no, you you used everything against me, like in judo or jiu jitsu, you just took my momentum and threw me to the floor and, and trampled me. Well, okay, turning down the music. Goodbye, screen. Yup. Am I right? Of okay. Of course you are. Ah, uh, thanks for tuning in today. Uh, to another episode. Oh, yeah, well. this is a clock. It's uh, I have. Oh, to... you don't even hear it, hear it, probably. Um, anyhow, so uh, <laughs> thanks for tuning in for another episode of. Uh, well, well, I'm kind of uh, sleepy today. <laughs> hey, Boone. Uh, if you like the game or the game depending on uh, wh what you look at. Uh, I mean, the game itself is uh, also like a product. Um, yeah, leave a like, uh, subscribe, ring the bell, maybe. Um, we're working on a uh, website, tribune.org. Uh, let's see if we can get our hands on this URL. And um, yeah, I think uh, it's time for the goodbye. And see you soon. On Tribune.